And thank you, Allison. Some disturbing news today out about former Alabama star Kenny Stabler. An autopsy of Foley's native's brain showed up that he has suffered from traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. News 5 Sports Director Randy Patrick joins us now, and he has more on this story. You bet you, Mel. CTE is a type of progressive brain disease that uh, is caused by repeated hits to the head, and symptoms include memory loss, depression, and dementia. On a scale of 1 to 4, Kenny Stabler had a high stage 3 CTE. Stabler died in July of colon cancer, and the CTE was confirmed after doctors examined his brain. Kenny played 17 seasons in the NFL, and the many hits he took in during his career has uh, taken its toll on his health in his later years in life, his family, and his friends. My uh, nephew plays for the Broncos. He's a left guard for the Broncos. And first thing he always says when he sees me is, how's your brain? Former Miami Dolphins great Bob Baumhauer knows how tough it is playing in the NFL. He once sacked the snake four times in a game. It's funny because you always seem to get up a little bit more for your buddies or for your heroes. Kenny Stabler was my hero. But the repeated hits on Stabler took its toll as Boston University researchers have uncovered CTE in Kenny's brain. Kenny's daughter, Alexa, says the news of the findings needed to be made public, and the family chose the New York Times to deliver the news today. You know, of course, the New York Times has a huge reach, um, and that was certainly taken into consideration. Um, it's been uh, overwhelming seeing who all, what outlets have picked up the story and to just see uh, the interest that it has and that people from around the world are genuinely interested in his story. Alexa said her father was showing signs of the disease and her father feared it might be CTE. He chose the path of research because he wanted his grandsons to be safe playing the game he loved, football. I was a little cautious, to be honest, about us releasing uh, these results. But in the end, my dad wanted to help people. And this is his way of doing that, even though he's no longer here with us. Now, hopefully the timing of the news and the article will help get Kenny elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame this weekend. But Alexa told me the timing of the news is not a strategy, strategy to get the sympathy vote for her dad. I'll have more on Kenny and the Hall of Fame coming up later in sports.